According to common sense, when most people hear a propeller, they think it is the propeller used on an airplane. But in fact, not only propellers are used on airplanes, ships also need propellers if they want to sail on water. This time, China completely broke through the technological blockade of Western countries and produced the world's largest propeller. Of course, in this process, China has broken through many technical difficulties. Let's take a closer look in this video. At present, China has become one of the three shipbuilding giants. In the field of shipbuilding technology, China is not inferior to Japan and South Korea, the two shipbuilding powerhouses. But in the field of marine propellers, China has been blocked by foreign technology for a long time. Now a piece of good news has come. It turned out that China has finally built the world's largest propeller, which fully demonstrates that propeller technology has reached the world's leading level. This can't help but make people wonder, how did China break the blockade of the propeller technology that has been blocked by the West for many years and achieve corner overtaking? At the same time, is China's propeller really the largest in the world? In the field of naval military industry, China has only developed in a few short decades. In the past, it has been in a situation of backward technology and it has not even been able to produce many needed equipment. China can only watch helplessly as Western countries block technology and stay ahead of the trend. For military ships, a lot of equipment must be independently developed and built in order to control the initiative. China's propeller technology is one of the technical problems that urgently need to be overcome. The propeller is an important part of the ship's power system. The propeller shaft transmits the engine's power to the propeller and turns it, which in turn pushes the water and moves the ship. The larger the ship, the larger the volume of the propeller used will naturally be. As a large propeller in water, the role of the propeller is extraordinary, especially for the modern shipbuilding industry, the propeller is even related to the propulsion and quietness of warships or submarines. The scientific and technological content of the propeller also determines the advanced level of a country's naval equipment, so the propeller seems to be an accessory, but it can reflect the epitome of the level of shipbuilding. From a layman's point of view, how difficult can it be to build something that looks like a super big fan? They think that to build a propeller is to choose a stronger raw material and the size of the construction is accurate and that's it. But building propellers is really not that simple. For example, the British aircraft carrier had a serious water leakage problem due to the propellers and sea water poured into the cabin causing a lot of panic. Moreover, the material used to build the propeller is a high-tech composite material, and several different metal elements need to be added. The technology of building this alloy is one of the military secrets of a country, and it also determines the level of propeller construction. In addition, the blades of this propeller have a lot of high technology, such as the curvature of the page, the splicing process, etc., all of which require complex process design and very high precision processing capabilities to complete. It is precisely because China has been unable to solve the production problem of propellers by itself for a long time and has to import them from abroad, so this technology has been blocked and controlled by Western countries. Later, after long-term unremitting efforts in research and development, China's military industry finally overcomes this problem. Dalian Shipyard finally took the lead in producing a large propeller with a diameter of more than 11 meters and a total weight of about 72 tons. It finally broke the technological blockade of the West and achieved a leap forward in China's military industry. 
Since then, China has continued to make progress and breakthroughs in this field. CSSC Wurzela once again broke the record by building a larger propeller with a diameter of 12.5 meters and a total weight of 160 tons. This record shocked many countries in the world. After all, the American Ford-class aircraft carrier uses a propeller with a diameter of only 6.4 meters and a single blade of 30 tons. The diameter of Chinese propellers is almost twice the diameter of American aircraft carrier blades. After China made a breakthrough in this field, it became the fourth country in the world that can build huge propellers. How did China go from being blocked to building the world's largest all-purposes propeller one after another? To make a propeller, a breakthrough in materials is first required. Propellers cannot be made from any kind of metal. The most commonly used propeller material today is nickel-aluminum bronze. Copper was used because the metal has a relatively low melting point and is easier to cast. The second is that copper itself is a heavy metal, which has certain toxicity to the attached organisms such as barnacles and algae in the sea, which can prevent the propeller from being attached to the organisms, thereby avoiding affecting the propulsion efficiency of the ship, generating unnecessary noise and wasting engine power. The reason for mixing aluminum and nickel is that pure copper has low strength and cannot withstand the vibration of the engine and drive shaft for a long time, so nickel and aluminum are added to improve the overall strength. In addition to the blades, the hub part is also very important. After all, this is an important part connecting the blade and the transmission shaft which basically requires extremely high strength, so this kind of part usually needs to be processed by machine tools. The DL250 Super Heavy CNC Horizontal Boring Lathe, successfully developed by China in 2011, is of great significance to the development of Chinese propellers. This equipment has helped China get rid of the situation that both the 1,100 MW supercritical nuclear power rotor and the 5 meters super heavy backup roller need to be imported. The lathe has the characteristics of large load bearing, high precision and multifunctional compounding, and this equipment has won the first prize of major innovation in China's weapon industry and has also obtained four patents. In short, the reason why China can break through the blockade of Western countries in the field of propellers is mainly due to China's success in materials and processing equipment. And this proves once again that for China, it is a very correct decision to stick to the path of independent research and development, and it declares to the world that the technological blockade of the West will always be futile. So where can China's super propeller be applied in the future? A 100,000 tons aircraft carrier is definitely needed, and there are also many large warships that require propeller propulsion. After this technology is improved, it will provide better propulsion capabilities for many types of warships, allowing the Chinese Navy's equipment to sail more stably and improve efficiency on the ocean. Now for propellers, China has made a major breakthrough in this field, realizing the production of the largest propeller in the world, which also indicates that China has the ability to build larger warships and ships. In the future, the 100,000 tons aircraft carrier giant ship may be propelled by such a propeller. This is really good news that makes military fans and netizens proud. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.